Right, good evening, everybody, and here we are on the Tony's Tackle C Match channel live from the shop. Um, <laughs> and tonight we have uh, Julie French, the judge, Maria, and uh, Joe Plump's here. And in the middle, Piggy in the middle, uh, Tony Kiri. So, um, <laughs> Andy Baker, hold your belly in, Joe. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I need that to hold me on right. the ground, Bakes. What happened yesterday when you went fishing with Andy Baker? I went with Andy Baker yesterday. Did you? Yeah, yeah. 27 you people watching. Can, can you uh, hear uh, us all right? All stand for the judge, Rob Smith. Uh, Rob, can you tell me? Can you hear it all right? Is the sound okay? Please. Can someone tell me the sound the sound is okay? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to carry on until if the sound's wrong up and have to do it. Right, it yeah, sounds good. Colin Hooper. Right, guys. So here we are. We are with the, the terrible trio. Right, loads of people saying the sound's okay. Um, great. So um well, we had a question. I think Joe was was uh, had, had a question already about poor GT. I read it earlier, yeah. Someone Questions, I think, about the um, producer size M4GT, the new Century M4GT. Is that one of them ones we just looked at? Yeah. We just had a look, Frenchy. Yeah. So 19, 19. Mil. 19, 19 mil. mil. All right, 19. so that's... Um, Is that, that the same as before then? Or no? I, think, I yeah, don't I'm know. Sure, but sure. I think they're on the same mandrils. I mean, I've got all the ones. I don't think they're different. I think they feel the spec. That's the answer I read. Because they pull the stuff to do it. Yeah. I don't think they... Right, I'm, I am getting the occasional buzzing on the microphone, so um, bear with me. If I notice it, I'll, I'll, I, for some reason, if I jiggle the wires, it stops doing it. But um, like that. Um, mic farting. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a wind, windy night. Right. Um, yeah, so let's have some questions from you guys. I've got uh, 64 people watching now. Uh, it's over to you. Oh, God, he's doing it again. Oh, the judge. Oh, oh, you're you're the judge. Jonah. Yeah. You're Jonah. You're no trouble. Cars, yeah. cars, vans. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't like me. Every other one's going <laughs> to. Right, ask Julian about his football days. Here you go, Julian. Uh, who, who's asked days. that question? <laughs> <laughs> who's who's <laughs> asked that question? <laughs> That's Lee Driver has asked that question. Lee Driver, now there's, Lee. A, there's a name from the past. Oh, well, the football days were sort of uh, following the Albion from years ago. And the gorilla uh, suit. <laughs> got, got back into it again. The boy enjoyed it, my son. And yeah, followed him up and down the country. And then got to the stage where just didn't really enjoy it anymore. The club didn't embrace uh, some of my behaviour, <laughs> which was a disappointment, really. Uh, so yeah, basically parted company with them about six years ago, okay. and came back to this. This is mm. a lot more fun. Yeah, a lot more banter. Though, didn't they? Yeah, they done well yesterday. The lad, the lad that I work with now, he travels home and away every game, uh, so he keeps me in fools. But <laughs> there's no returning back. No yeah. returning back. Dan Wood says you look like three dark players. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a line of bell, isn't it? <laughs> right, guys, guys, sorry about this, but can you just confirm that I've cured the, the mic farting because I've unplugged one of the mics. Um, first oh, of all, nice. can you hear me? <laughs> and two, can you hear them all right? Dan just give us a thumbs trousers. up or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, think he, I get haircut. Dan Wood, you, you know he thinks you look like three dark players, don't you? you yeah, know? that's what he says. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, now. Right, that's from Fisher. Right, lovely thing. Thank you, Fisher. Yeah, I've, I've unplugged my mic, so you, I might be a bit quiet, but um, maybe with some sort of feedback. I don't know. Okay, so uh, has Julian had a haircut for the occasion? Had a haircut this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> who who <laughs> noticed that? <laughs> um, who noticed that? That was. No, it was getting a bit Kevin long. Kevin Kane. Yeah, getting a bit long. Right. Uh, so. Okay. Nice shirt, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, that comes from. Well, you didn't see what I did have on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had to do a quick change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was he was nicely dressed up as a carp angler, but I told you he looked like a pikey. So I thought he was ready for the Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, some lady yeah. rang up, and there it is. Look, oh, yeah, sold an old nice. jacket, the other one. Nice. Oh, right. I can't believe it. Well, someone bought your old jacket. Yeah, she wanted to buy it, and I think you can't get them no more. They're that expensive, so I sold yeah. it. Being really? a good salesman. I'll tell you what, it's like I went in the army oh, surplus. No, no, I went in the army surplus store. The <laughs> bloke came in, said, you got any camouflage jackets? The bloke said, yeah. He said, where are they? He said, they've got thousands of them. He said, yeah, but where are they? He said, I can't find them. <laughs> 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 Hang on, let's, let's put a cheer. <laughs> anyway, how did you get on uh, when you crashed me the other day? No good, mate. No good. <laughs> Someone had cleaned Absol- it out. Abs- they? Absolutely embarrassing. He, he won't have it. Absolutely. He won't have it. Absolutely. Someone had cleaned it out, didn't they? Absolutely embarrassed. Didn't clean that out. They did. Paul King. Absolutely and embarrassed. Keith and Roller were fishing there day before <clears> and had a real lot of bass, a real lot. And, right. uh, they took the big ones home. Yeah. I, think, oh, I yeah, don't know. Right? I don't know what happened. It's just. And, you're, uh, I think you're, but they all think I'm mad. But I'm not mad, making excuses because yeah. I'm right there. Saturday. Didn't have a the bite. Obviously, you want to get as far as pressure was really high because Saturday. He got high pressure fish. Saturday. And what was, I didn't think he was going to fish well. He didn't. Did he? I think high uh, pressure. Well, also so, state of tide as well. We fished at we, certain we places. Fish there was fish. You know, I mean, Kevin and. And they still didn't get a lot. And. Green, all right, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, but not, nothing like the previous week. No, nothing. I think on them short tides, it comes down to people who can put it out there mm. a fair way. Yeah, but I mean, well, I reckon like... the other week when I cast quite well, right? And I said it's casting. I think this week it was excess missile time. Absolutely. And if you could cast like Joe, yeah. then you got in the mud. We didn't, but yeah. what I'm saying, same, same really as Brett. Brett, Brett, so. Brett was on I reckon if I could very poor peg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never had a bite, I won't bite all done. I think if I'd have put two hooks on, I might have got a fish. I didn't you, know it was uh, going to, I kept thinking it's going to improve, you know. Yeah. How did you end up in the end? Uh, I ended up last. Oh. Very good. Second last week, last this week. <laughs> Even I And the worst thing is, I didn't go out bloody drinking because I thought, I'm really up for this, now I'm doing better. It just went, that's fishing in the face. Yeah. yeah. All on the draw as well, a lot of draw. Yeah. Oh, you've been by someone next to you, little man. I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey? yeah. Taken to the cleaners. So <laughs> Not really, no. I had five fish next to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah my the dog, dog, yeah. Yeah. My dog. I yeah. think it made the Pevensey Gazette. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. He was the 11th man, by the way, we played the 10th. Thanks a lot. Really this, sad. This when, you come 11th, when, it, yeah. when you come 11th, you play that at 10th. <laughs> Leslie Kirk says, have you got any Sonic Rabbit he's rods in yet? Uh, I think they're doing in about four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah, maybe maybe quicker because he tends to fly them in. Right. And they've had Chinese New Year. So basically everything stops for a month, no work. Yeah. So all of a sudden stuff's starting to move now. So it won't be long. I did have a nice one second hand last week. But sold it straight away. Marshall. Right. And, and Neil, Neil Harmy says... Can he ask, is there a good travel rod for beach fishing suitable for going on a plane? Yeah, the only thing with them, I don't want to... No, go, go on, you... The only thing with them is, I find all of them, but I know now, they're about seven pieces. Yeah. Because they've got so many spigots on them, they're all heavy. Yeah. Akios does one. <clears> yeah. He's a ton. Yeah. But I suppose that's what he got I up think, with, the spigots. The old man, he got one. Shimano. Shimano, Shimano one's Shimano. Shimano. quite good. Yeah. Dad got yeah, that is he, quite good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. About eight piece. Yeah. I think it goes in your case. Shimano. Yeah. I can't remember what model it was. But how, how long is that? Even that's quite it's, heavy, but that's remember. probably the best one on the market, really, it was, I think. Yeah. It was quite good, yeah. Probably it's probably about to put it Yeah. Yeah. Colin Sargent's got one. He takes it over to yeah. the Yeah. Well, well uh, Colin, yeah. I think Colin leaves his rods there, doesn't he? Because he's, he's got a place there, hasn't he? So, yeah. yeah. He leaves his stuff there most of the time, I think. Um, why do yeah Hatchy six one fish on? And this is this is a good interest one, and I think we should get quite a good discussion going. Why do anglers cast so far away from the rod stand? I've been fishing for thirty years, never mm-hmm. noticed this before. And I'm guessing what he's meaning is about going up tide or downside from the rod rod stand. I think I've seen him mention this before in one of your videos. I don't. Know, does it, I think he means that I, I read something on one of the comments that you put one of your yeah. videos. One of Tony's. I think he means when we stand so far away, why do we not have the stand set up next to the water's edge? Oh, yeah, what is that? Yeah. I think that's what he means. Yeah. Like, I always see, yeah. Sometimes I do that, and you, I don't like to be too far away. Do no. you know what I mean? I think no. that's what he's saying. Where, yeah, why yeah. do we, yeah, yeah, I mean, I've got a thing at the moment where I just want to go, I don't care if, I, if the sea's calm or I go right at the top, 
And you set but what? Yeah, but the yeah, thing yeah, yeah, you were on there, and then you, halfway down a the beach, like that, and I don't yeah, catch it. Yeah, yeah. You say that you've then got your line everywhere. There's people trying to get. Yeah, if someone next to you wants to cast. There's nothing worse than when you're there. Someone's got that big bow of line. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Running down from the beach. I've done it before. I cut people off. That was a bow of line. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a bow of the line. It was over your side, but it went right over and he caught my line. Yeah. I don't know. Some of them do set up. I've seen some of them set up tents right at the top of the beach and set at the top of the beach. I think, well, hang on, you've got to go down. I set up a little way from the sea on a flooding tide. I think if I turn up to a match when we're fishing at the end, I literally sit right on the on the high water line. I've got the top of the beach. <laughs> I'll just go up there. I, I, I'm going back down again. That's, that's I, know, I, know, it's I think it depends. Well, perhaps it a bit depends, of exercise depends, for boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> depends on the conditions <laughs> as well. Keeping yeah. your bait dry. You stayed at the top, didn't you? Yeah, I stayed at the top the other day because of the rain. Stayed at the top and it was like, as long as I just thought, didn't put too much of a bow in that line. I had to watch down that groin. Here. Yeah. You know, I was here. on the pier. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, so it's like, I think, yeah, it it comes down to conditions, keeping your bait dry. Yeah, and I think if, that, if it was kind of rough, you want to be up a bit, and then have the rod up. So yeah. there's another thing the that, that happened yeah. last week with Chris. I went by him, and I said, I'm 20 yards past you today, and, and he cast further than me. But what I understood, what I got straight away, I sussed it out. I'm not up there, and he's down here, and, he's, and I've got a big dip, yeah, great big platform like yeah, you had, yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. down there. Like yeah, Kevin was. To, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'll yeah. tell you what, they cut, you do lose distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he casts further than me. But what I was trying to explain to him is I had 20 yards on him that I wouldn't have no, because I was in this, out, I was yeah. right up the top. I had a perfect bet. 14, that was. Yeah, you you digress a bit yeah. from what he's asked, but you yeah. say that as well. I go about casting like that. And my old man always taught me when you look at the beach, when you start fishing down the beach, it's quite nice. But if you get there and you, you think if you go on the top, it's flat. You'll get a better cast away from yeah. being up on the top mm. than you would trying to get the tip will, down when you're down yeah. on a shelving mm. beach. That's a bit yeah. different. That's kind of what you're saying. And yeah. like you say, if you if he's down the bottom yeah. of the beach and you're on the top, you've got that high yeah. trajectory that high. of that height. You're already up 20 yeah. foot. Mm. It makes you a start. difference. And your yeah. legs going up mm. higher. Yeah. Yeah. And the sink as it goes up, it never goes up. Drops then down. It, it drops sounds down. crazy. This, but if someone could build a box that that was stable, if you because you get more of a Trajectory. See yeah. match cast in black. You know what? I can't be made you know tomorrow. Keith, Keith, Keith Ferry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will be with it. Yeah. Of course, he's up. He's up there. Well, look at Greedy. He's massive. That, yeah, yeah, they've got all that yeah. extra leverage. leverage mm. You know. Yeah. So the, the answer is to be quite tall. You mm. would probably be a better caster. Mm. You know. But I don't know. It's a strange thing. See match that. box. Yeah, yeah I think. I think also the other thing You're is cards. What? 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 I start when I started fishing again. I went pleasure fishing with Joe. First thing he taught me. Try and get that bait up tied. It's oh, like exactly. if if you if you go fishing, you look at these people who do really well. Oh, straight out something, isn't it? Saw people like that. Their watercraft is mm. unbelievable. You watch you watch what they're up to, and it's like you see sort of like the Colin Careys, the Darren Bond. Say so they they've got them hooked fishing, mm. and a lot of the time it's the same with Webby. Webby he, he used three hooks clip down. Mm. And he, he swears by that, but he swears by the tide. Mm. And mm. you've got to know when that tide's what it's doing, <laughs> yeah. and how them hooks are. And they're, they're the kind of things that you can't teach. No, you know, I've, no, I've found it over it. years that people used to we used to talk about the pier. We used to laugh at about. I think we was laughing about on Sunday about me marching around saying there's no tide, no tide, yeah, yeah. no tide. Knowing when we said this before, but about when to do what to do yeah, different yeah. types of tides. It's, mm. it's Stuff that you can't do. Very frustrating uh, at Langley Point because when it stops, you get a big fish. Mm. Just it eases up. And you've got to guess that. Mm. You can't really do it by That's time. You have to pipe. kind of guess it. Hey, after, you... after the pipe. Yeah. When it's halfway up the pipe. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> do <you> remember? <laughs> I went to him like that, put my hand up, and his rod went whack. And mm. mine went down. We both had about a seven pound smooth out. And Dan was in the middle, wasn't he? In the middle, Dan. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he never spoke to us for a couple of matches, did he? Yeah. We had a laugh that day. But you have to guess it. Yeah. When it's going to lose. You yeah. get an idea, but you can't, you don't know exactly, do you? And sometimes you get that cast away just at the right time, and you get a big fish, I know. Yeah. When it first of the flood, and, you know. Yeah. The one, the, one, the one thing that Joe taught me was hook levels as well, different states of the tide can work mm. different. 
on like different states of the tide when there's no tide. Joe, obviously, big caster, he makes things happen. And same as same as Brett Green, I fished next to Brett the other week, and yeah, it was phenomenal. Mm. It's like <clears throat> you 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 walk away, and it's like you you know why you've been beaten, mm. and it comes down to distance. And yeah. that day was absolutely on fire, and it was a hard day as well. And it's like that that big double shot, second to last cast. It's you do it all the time. Well, well, sometimes not Saturday, no. <laughs> <laughs> As we read in the Pevensey Gazette. Okay, I'll we, we move on because I've had quite a few questions come in while Sorry. Was going on. So, um, and, and on from what French has just been talking about, Leslie Kirk asks, What size hook should I use on a free hook flapper looking for cod? Well, I don't think we've seen a cod down here for a few years, but. Yeah. I, I, for a, for a, if you're fishing for a cod, normally up north, I'd use a sort of one hook, maybe That's a pen look. Well, he's oh, talking flapping, oh, yeah. Flappy, yeah, flapping. but well, you wouldn't use three hooks fishing. To oh, I don't know what ground they're in. What? I mean, it all depends what ground they're in. We were in. talking about it yeah. yesterday. Stuart Morgan when we fished yesterday. Fakes. We were talking about cods and the size of their mouths. Yeah. yeah. Even oh, six dude. pounders got a mouth like that. No, oh, no, big hooks. No. You could put a two hour, three hour in yeah. its mouth. And yeah. Used to. When we caught them. They're quite a big hook, I'd say. Yeah. I'd be frightened of a bigger hook than a cod. Yeah. I mean, I say even a little cod has got big mouth. Two pounders, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I hope that's answered your question, Leslie. If, if it hasn't, come back with some more, because I think we need more information as to what you're asking. Mm. Um, right, Gary Copeland, ask the judge about his lucky, lucky Super Mario boxer short. <laughs> uh, <pushing> matches. Oh, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> I've sacked him off. <laughs> <laughs> After Christmas, I don't worry. <laughs> I didn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Good old boy. <laughs> right, Julian Ball says, "Evening, lads. Considering buying two fixed ball reels, we couldn't help but be surprised at the price of the top of the range reels at seven hundred pounds plus. Question is, what do you gain in such an expensive reel?" Well, no, Harry Lyon, a tiny wood. Well, no, I think slow line, oscillation. Line lay. Line lay, slow oscillation. But I mean, even these, Basically, on, on that they're basic, very basic light, the expensive, expensive ones, ones but I think they're massively overpriced. Yeah. Um, the one we're selling, you know, is the yeah. tidal one at the moment. Yeah. And it's ever so light, slower station. I've got one, absolutely brilliant, you know, and they're 230 quid. <laughs> I wouldn't pay 700 for one. I know you have, Chris. <laughs> And it hasn't got a slow oscillation. The one might no, that's what I mean. That was a lie. I mean, Andy had one yesterday. Yeah. Fazio. I think that was just... Oh, yes, I lovely. think that... Does that help you turn the rod over better? I, I, I don't know. Light and, yeah, I suppose. If you was really really I don't know if it would go further. Casting, it's heavier. Maybe you can turn the rod around quicker. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. It's a, I'm, I'm well happy with that. I took yeah. one of them, like that tidal one there, took the Vantage one. I don't know if it's... What was there? Yeah, I was going to pass that. It's exactly the same in black. But I've been selling quite a lot of these. They're a bit more. But they, if you see, I don't know if you get on here, but you see how it's about 25 turns. So it puts the line on. Beautiful. You know, I said I'm walking up the beach a long way away. Mm. Well, when I walk back, I must be a crap my car is. It's still full up. Yeah. If, if I put this at two arbors gold in, if I put them on there, you would not believe you'd get 300 yards. Is that quite on. fine? Diameter? It looks like I was 20 yards. I nearly rung the company up and said, what am I supposed to do? How can I put any line on there when you put these things on, on it? And it gets 320 yeah. yards of braid on it. Mm. Yeah. But that's the kiddie, that mm. and the, or the tidal. Um, don't yeah. spend 700 quid. That'll do you, 230 yeah. quid. Yeah. And they're light as anything. I've had mine about a month, and it's really good. You know, I think it's great, real. So. The other thing is, it might be down to the quality of gearing. I know my boy, he's got Shimano's. Yeah. And, and I don't, you know, a lot of the top football boys use them. The bull's eyes that Harvey's got. Mm. They're running quite slow, mm. but they've got more power. So, mm. like you say, I think like Tony said, yeah. clean ground needs to mm. probably be spot on. I think it depends on what you're doing. But um, yeah, and it's they're very quite a slow retrieve, but they've got more torque in them. Right. So I think it's that's not been done by accident. They copied a the top range reel there. Oh, yeah, that's pen, and they virtually done something similar yeah. to one of the top range seven hundred quid yeah. ones. So yeah. you know, why, why waste five hundred quid? Yeah. I don't know. But they are very light, and you've got one, so I don't yeah, know. I've right. never used one. Used them for carp fishing mm. years ago. Brilliant. 
you know, a fantastic car. And I'm guessing if, if you if you were holding a rod, like if you're bass fishing with a hold, you know, holding a yeah, rod for a length of time, and you want light, then you don't want heavy. You just want heavy rod. That's true. I mean, I have to say that Bayesley, I, I, I bought it on a whim, I got it second hand, so it didn't cost me as much as it should have done. And but I don't know why, it's, it's nothing, nothing special about it, really. Um, other than it's very light. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, if you're buying cheap bills, don't matter if you're going through them, do you? Just buy another one. Yeah, the, yeah, thing, the, thing, the thing is, me and Joe were talking about this today. You get set in your ways yeah. and you like what you like. Yeah. And it's like, and it's like Joe is say, he use a pen and he knows he should be using the pen to pull dogs out. Yeah. But he don't feel comfortable with it. No. He puts on a super tune and he starts catching fish. It gives him that extra bit of confidence. Yeah. Yeah. And we all fish on our confidence, don't we? Yeah, we, we do. We, it, it's, we, when you turn up, if you get a couple of early fish and it's like you start, your confidence builds mm. and it's like you, you sort of feel your way into the match and mm. it's like sort of, it, it's it's a good thing. If, if things start going wrong, you've done nothing different from a few weeks ago, but you start questioning things. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah, definitely. And it, this, this is what this is where you I look at anglers since I've been back, and certain anglers they fish like Joe and you know, example Colin Carey, Darren Bond. They can have a bad day, but they will still turn it into a good day. Mm. Paul Stevens, mm. the consistency yeah. is unbelievable with these guys, and the same as Saul. Saul is like he's a machine, mm. and it's like sort of, but the amount of effort. And the amount, yeah, sort you don't of see like, what's putting behind the yeah, scenes, do you? Yeah, you know, yeah. you know. I did when I travelled to Ireland with him. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's pretty hours sleep. He's relentless, and he's, he puts a lot of effort in. Mm. The guy does, and also, he's a genuinely nice guy. I see him on the beach. He he let me rifle through his tackle box. Four of it. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> but yeah, I, th I think the thing the thing is with fishing and what have you, it's definitely the confidence spread. Mm. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't get their head around that. Just it is constant. definitely look at our Saturday, yeah, doing nothing really yeah. wrong, but completely totally yeah. drained within an hour. Drained of every bit of confidence I had. I wanted to get a good start. Mm. Uh, Jules got a fish straight mm. away, then he got another one, and I was my head was going down and down. And I thought, why oh, can I just get this over with? You know, yeah, and it's just one more day, and no, that's it. And, and another day, like last week, I couldn't go wrong, mm. yeah, you know. Well, I was, I was all set. That's fishing, I'm not it? I phoned him up and he said, don't bother. No, no it was, don't that bother. was like that. Yeah. I was fuming. Yeah. I just wanted to get down. I was watching Chelsea was, nearly win. You know, <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed watching the guy on the next beach to me, uh, Kev Murner, the bites. Yeah, Kevin, okay, his robbers going off the rock yeah. rest. It yeah. was phenomenal. All the time. He nice so guy. Many bites. He should have won the match. Fished yeah. really, really well. He fished yeah. so well. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, I, obviously I don't use sort of like braid. Mm. And I think the body head was a top of the range for a Kenta. Yeah, like, yeah. Unbelievable. He's he, he, a good angler, Kevin. Yeah, he very good. A lot. Yeah. Very, very you know, good. He was fishing great. Yeah. yeah. But the bites, proper. Yeah. yeah. You know. So that's that's great because that really leads into the next question, which is from Stu Morgan. Um, it's a question for Joe and the, and the, Mr. French, the judge, all stand. All right. stand. Um, what's your view on braid being used in matches? Causing problems in some clubs banning it, the use of it, or is it just some goons that use it? So I, I wouldn't call um, him no, a goon particularly. I think, boat, I, think, I think the biggest <laughs> thing about it all is like obviously the braid sort of um, the arguments about braid and this, that, and the other. You, you've got to know where you're casting. Yeah. And it, it gets into guys who are using monofilament. If that braid goes up the line, then basically they're starting to think, next time I chuck out and my lead's there, I might pull back and the whole lot will just part. Yeah, there is there is that. I and mean, I, I, I've heard it from other people that do use braid and they say, well, I've never cut anyone off with braid. I've been. I mean, I think the thing is with the braid, that, that everyone's got the, I spoke to Tom Bagnall about this at Christchurch, about the braid, how everyone says about the diameter of this braid. Oh, it's 0.20. So when it's measured, it's squashed flat. So therefore, mm. it's it's not the actual true diameter. No, true, yeah. I think a lot of it is people like it, like you just said there, for the bite detection. Tony said before, he said, you know, you sling out a mono, 
Oh, you don't and you look at it, you haven't seen a bike for, the clock. For, for, for 12 minutes, mm. yeah. and you pull it out, and then there's three whitings on there or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Um, so they, there's, there's that, I think, that people like it, but for that reason. But never never went per- pleasure fishing for about 15 years. Mm. Now you see me over there pleasure fishing because mm. you, you see bites. It's I great just, fun. Again, it's fun. Mm. this comes down to a, a, a preference, yeah. Yeah. and everyone's got their own preference you know, with it. I know that some matches, I think Jules, Ban it in his match. Um, I think Sam's yeah. still won't allow I've it. never cut but anyone off that I know people of. People do say that, but Truthfully. like Frenchie mm. does say, there is there is that. I, don't know. I, mean, I, I, mean, I personally think that Big I, Nylon cast better than Braid. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think Big you, if, is, if, if you quite, if you I got cut off at Hastings the other week with a guy using monofilament. Mm. If you come up the line wrong mm. and you yeah. don't wait, yeah. It's like, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, yeah. Like, and that went through the leader. And I've, I've done it to, I've, I've done it to other people, but I did it to Saul one day at the Bass Festival. Mm. I, remember I was that. gutted, yeah. absolutely mm. gutted. And mm. you know, so the thing is, I think the biggest thing about the braid issue is, is make sure you know what the guy's doing next to you, respect him if he's got the monofilament on, mm. and try and work together. A lot of anglers you see mm. that will start fishing. They know that they've got to go up tide, yeah. and it's like with me. If I'm fishing next to a big caster, uh, a couple of years ago, I fished next to Louis Smith at Skinkness, mm. and, yeah, we worked together. He was going out over the top of me. He mm. was coming round. He was over the top of me, and yeah. we were timing, We were fishing in tandem. Mm. Brilliant. It worked out really well, mm. and it, it, it was a good day out, and there was, there was no problems. Mm. But, obviously, the trouble is... It's like sort of if you get a windy day and it's like I've seen people with braid and all of a sudden it can go a little bit like wrong because <laughs> like it's going all off over the place. And it's, it's very like direct, get, isn't it? It's yeah, very yeah. direct. That's and, and also when the weed starts with the braid, it could be too direct. It's really You've got that bounce of you. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely. You know, I mean, we, we, we fished a match. I think that was at Skegness, and I think Ian Bow, you know the diameters he's using. Nylon. Nylon. Yeah, and nylon. I said I said to him, and he said, I had no trouble with that weed. Mm. He no, said 0.25 he uses, 0.25 yeah. nylon. Mm. And you'd be surprised. I was saying about thin nylon. Everyone says about braid, thin braid. <clears throat> Tom Ryder, she told me this line, show me this line. And I, on a fixed ball, if I use a fixed ball, clean ground, you'd be surprised how low with monofill, you can go yeah, yeah, 0.20 yeah. I've used, and you can still pull breakaway leads out mm. relatively if it's not too stuck. Yeah, but then even 0.16 nylon I was using at Cambridge Road on a fixed ball. Yeah, just to try things out with a with a pyramid lead. I don't think you'd chance a breakaway, but the the how it just flies off yeah. the reel. But mm. again, like we say, you wouldn't see a bite, mm. but it just floats. You know. Mm. And it's amazing. Yeah, I mean it's like with Tom. Each their own. Obviously, he does the England thing. Mm like Joe does, <laughs> and it's like sort of a lot of it is fixed sports fishing, mm. especially on the continent. Mm. And with Tom, he's honed his skills on this, mm. and he goes down to really, really fine diameters. Mm. And like he said, he was telling you about it. He was, but one thing just touching on that about braid is, I was going to see Tony about it, see yeah. what he thought about braid, that when I went to Holland with Arby, some of the, I think the Croatians or whatever, and the mm. Irish were mega thin braid. Mm-hmm. Youngsters, you know. Mm. Yeah. And if that could gain them, that you know, I'm talking mega, mega thin. Mm. This this new flex stuff is really but, thin, just, but I don't, mm. I don't know whether I can trust it. Gerald said it's all right, but they're saying, but to me, it could looks they too gain, thin? You know, you will gain this. Could they though. gain that little bit? I mean, I'm, you know, yeah. we, mm. we know. they definitely gain a bit of yard. They, they, you know, we've watched them use it. And they, you know, deep on it. But again, yeah, each to their own. Mm. I mean, I'm not. They had a mix. Yeah, they had a mix line. I can't remember what it was called. It was between braid and nylon. Nanofill. And it was bloody brilliant. But, but it nanofill. was beyond the angler, and it wasn't quite as strong. You know, oh, I, I thought know. So that it was, was kind of like beyond the angler. It yeah. died the yeah. best. Was that the mm. yellow one? Yeah, it was fantastic. Nanofill. nanofill. Yeah. It was American. It, it, it was beautiful. Yeah. It was almost like braid and not. It was. It felt like nylon. And I used it for a while, but it wasn't yeah. quite that strong. Do they still do it? It no zero straight. You can still get it. Yeah. Good I stuff. used to use that. I used that in point two. And that's quite good stuff. Yeah, very direct. Just stop yeah. selling though. It's really weird, but yeah. Yeah, it wasn't as strong. That braid's so strong. That's the other thing about it. You yeah, don't realise yeah, yeah, how yeah. strong it is. Yeah. I pulled in about eight leads. Um, 
what's his name uh, from, from Kent. He'd been fishing the day before there. Um, and he lost, oh, that 15, it's full of snags. I'm in a match in the over 50s. And they're going, what's Tony doing? When's, when's it going to break? So I've got in. eight, eight weights mm. and all this other tackle and all these booms. Mm. And I pulled a lot out. And it yeah, it's the same in the shop now. Yeah, Shane Pullen. <laughs> yes, he, he, he was down there the day before. He yeah. said, so you won't yeah. ever be out to fish one night. <laughs> yeah. 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 He said to me, you won't peg, fish peg 15, yeah. Shane Pullen. And I went, well, I'm on it tomorrow. He went, you won't get your gear back. And I didn't. Yeah. But I did. I pulled all this lot in. All this and I was away then. I, yeah. well, well, yeah. That's about six months ago. Right, Glenn Tillou said, sort of let casting like get a bait though. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody else later on get said, a drone. That's cheating, yeah. Um, right, we've got 100 and... Oh, someone asked me a question. Go on, then. Do you have to have a pilot's licence for a drone? You don't have to have a pilot's licence, but if it's over 250 grams, you've got to do, have done the certificate of competency before you can fly it. And oh, you I can't see. fly it in lots of places. They've got really tight... I just wonder, because someone asked me that the other day. Oh, so you can't fly them on, on, over a beach, for instance. Really? Well, you, you can't if it's over a certain weight. Well, over 250 grams, yeah. So what's the average one? Less than that? No, they're, most of them are over 250 <laughs> grams. <laughs> they, they really clamp down it. Public places. It's a public yeah. place. So, right. I mean, I've got I've got a cheap little drone and I've got a 250 gram one. Which one you in. jump in the sea for? Chuck the rod down. <laughs> <laughs> the cheap chuck, one. Chuck the 500 quid rod down yeah. for, a, for a 50 quid <laughs> drone. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry, Chris. I know, I did. It's on film as well. <laughs> Um, Kitty got one for a present up the Angley Club. They went out on the balcony and Rod Paris was working it and all of a sudden it went woof. They found it in Old Town about five days later. Christmas present. Found it in Scotland. It just went totally complete. All looking down the roads for it. It went all out to Old Town. But it's the, the, um, the Tunbridge Wells divers who, who do a YouTube channel, they were out, they, they filmed themselves going down the river and the boat, the drone followed them out to sea and they got to where they were going and suddenly the drone went and disappeared. <laughs> And they thought, well, we've lost that. But what they forgot is it will go back to where it took off from. So it flew back. And one of the blokes at Simpson Marine was working. And suddenly this drone goes, Ugh. Right, so that one flew back, back to the shop where he bought it. Flew back to the shop where he got it from. Yeah. <laughs> Resold again. You would. A homing, <laughs> a homing drone. Yeah. Oh, and a lovely customer today told me, don't tell the guy who's won the M4 GT. If he ain't rung up, don't tell him he's won it. <laughs> I said, don't put things in my head. <laughs> Mark, you can't just, be sorry. He went, well, don't tell him. Just, the, 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 just keep it. Joke in the park. Joke in the park. And by the way, someone else wanted. Just tried ringing it. Just tried ringing it. Just tried to ring him. We'll try it in a minute. We'll try and live, yeah. live on, on the channel. Again, right. Yeah. right, Liam Checksfield. I've been using my Fury for a while now, and I need something with more grunt for my fixed ball. Do you have anything in mind? It's for little Liam. For Liam. Mm, Liam checks me. Airspeed or something, maybe. Doing yeah. the airspeed at a good price. Um, HTs are being short, then. <coughs> yeah, HTs. Tell Dad to get you a Kenta Plus. Be Unfortunately, awesome. my rod has been held up because I'm making it a bit better than it was. It's going to be April. Mm. I think that'd be good. The one I've been playing with is lovely. 15 foot really four. Good. No, it's not. It's nearly March, isn't it? Yeah, Has he got the big tip for the Fury? Can you still get those other tips? Yeah, have you got a power tip in it? Yeah, Liam, it. have you got a power tip? For power tips. Tony yeah. was doing the yeah, much tip. Yeah. It goes 30 yards further. With yeah, power so tip. maybe that's what you need, Liam. Have a, have a word with Tony about that. Um, Liam, sorry, Don Foucault, does Tone have any good multipliers in? Um, he's got shed loads. See that one behind you there? It's fantastic. There's a box. Brand new. I've shown the... Uh, talking. That's an American, isn't it? Paul Parsons, though. That's an American. That's an one. American. That's in the box, brand new. Well, it's not just brand, brand new, but it's pretty. Well, new. I don't think it's been used, has it? I don't think it's been touched. Anyway, it's, Look at that. That it's is, the American that one, is, which is far better than the English one. Quite a spanker, that is. That's... He wants a lot of money for it, Steve, but that's mm. silly. He wants 230 quid. I want about a 175 for it. I've got loads of them at home. <laughs> that's a better quality one than. <laughs> That one there by you. What's that? Five one five. That's a five one five. Almost new. Tell you what, uh, I, I use these. Yeah. So I mean, you've I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got the too. Yeah. No, yeah. just I've got loads of them in the cabinet yeah. there yeah. over there. Yeah. But starting from that, I mean, that's hundred and forty. That's never been used. I don't yeah. think. Yeah. 
probably go a bit cheaper. Yeah. This is the one you should get if you've got the money. Yeah. But unfortunately, that won't be around long. Because no. when they get an American one, you never really, you very rarely get it in the box. Right? Yeah. 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 You know. And they're supposed to be, well, I don't know who's showing off here, but I designed this with Neil McKellar. And I had done all the design work, but he'd done all the magnets, Neil, because he's the clever one. Yeah. And a lot of people, it came out as Neil McKellar's 10525, yeah. but I went to America and designed it all, the sizing, everything, with him. Really? Yeah, we spent a month in America, all the rods and reels, got to work for them. And they say a lot of people don't know, but I actually, I fought for years because I wanted a reel that was bigger than a 6.5 and smaller than a 7. Yeah, we all knew the answers, but no one had the tool yeah. in to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So finally, I got the work for Penn. I said, "We need to get out there and do a multiplier straight away." Yeah. And of course, Neil was the clever one with all the mm-hmm. magnets. Mm-hmm. And when it came out, it was the Neil McKellow five two five mag. It's amazing. Like old. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think when yeah, there's literally a over here. Yeah. You know, yeah. hundreds yeah. of my. Yeah. Give me a ring tomorrow. Yeah, the camera I'll get you one for a good price. There's three hundreds of set there ones in there. Okay. Cheers. So that's the little sales interlude, John. Yeah. Um, Angus Stevenson. Yes. What braid do you use on fixed ball brand and strain? So what would you use? On, what, what make of a braid? I mean, it's only you, it's only that uses. Well, everyone uses um, Fireline. I'm using AX um, Accio at the moment. All right. It's a little bit thinner. Yeah. And it's really good stuff. Been using that yellow in 18. Oh, that's a green. That's yeah. Stuff talk about, yeah. That's the stuff there. It's about the same price, about 28 quid. I don't know what he calls it. Braid Runner. <laughs> Braid Runner. Yeah. That's good. Braid Cutter. <laughs> Cutters. <laughs> <laughs> this is guaranteed to cut any nylon in half yeah. any time you've got that toy you don't like next year. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 for a little while, I found I couldn't. But it's all, it's all much. I think it all comes out the same factory in reason. I found that I, I couldn't get a, a, a knot to stick with it. It was so slippery, but I've worked What's it out. What's that? Well, what? With that. But, but I, it does now. I can't break it, tell you. No, it's funny. Well, well, see, up. it's like I've never been into the braid. It's like yeah. I wouldn't even know how to tie the knot. So I so, always use 20, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to go and down. What about, a lead, what about a leader on that? So, I use braided leader. What? Well, use like the 64. braided braided lead I, I that some, whiplash yesterday I pulled Brilliant. someone's braid in it green with a yellow braided leader who was that were you or Gerald no no I only have that it's white a, stuff it's in that green whiplash. stuff white I was with Bakes and Stu yeah, yesterday no, not me. I pulled it in I thought what's this on there and it come in it's all green that's yeah. that green and I don't stuff. I haven't lost the, I can't remember the last the yellow time impact I there. lost anything mm. no I never lost nothing did I he pulled me in once and he kept reeling, not getting wound up. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I, know. Know. I, 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 I was, was speed fishing at the end. He's going to get me caught. <laughs> and he goes, I said, you might have been. No, 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 no. It's a little whiting out there. I thought, <laughs> cash in there. No, that, any that whiplash made <laughs> 68 pound on there. It's brilliant. And it, it gives you such a little knot. You don't hear nothing. You know when you put this, this tape of nylon on and all that in? You hear <laughs> and all this yeah, yeah. just goes straight out. Yeah. Don't hear nothing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I can't praise that new reel enough. But is it going to stand the test of time? We'll see. Time will tell. I've had it now for nearly two months and it's been perfect. You know, it's, <clears throat> the only thing I thought is it reels a bit too fast. But then you get used to that and you slow down. It brings the fish up the top too fast. Right. It's just got a fast retrieve on it. Yeah. Right, Paul. There's a question from Paul Critically. Um, for Tony, are the, and I think you might have got ragworm and lugworm mixed up here, but I'll, I'll read the question anyway, and you can answer it either way. Question for Tony, are the ragworm he gets getting hard to dig and find? Full harbour and parts of the Bristol Channel are in real decline, so is it getting bad not only for ragworm yellowtail? Ragworm yellowtail? I think he no, eats it. He's bait digging in general to get hard to dig. But your ragworm, yeah, the ragworm we get. Uh, uh, believe it or not, they're farmed, yeah. and everyone's anti-farm ragworm, but it's farmed in a different way. Right. They they dig it, they they breed them, and they dig them out with diggers. So I think they're as good as they've been bred from small. They're all they're not like in water or anything yeah. like that, and I think they're fine. And I've caught plenty of fish on all of us, haven't they? Yeah. But uh, people would prefer dug rag that are dug, and I don't even know of any ragworm diggers now. You say, I used to get some. 
some point. Sure, yeah. yeah. You were saying about the decline in, in ragworm. I was a while ago, this might answer some of that. I was fishing one of Webby's matches, found the matches. Yeah. I was next to Mick Delaney. You remember me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Mick yeah, and his yeah. boy, yeah, John. Yeah. yeah, lovely from Portsmouth. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to get that wrong? Did they even... No, they paid you so and raid as well, mate. Well, yeah, years ago. Mick said to me about how clean the rivers and estuaries are now, and that's why there's not so many um, worms there. They said, when had all the outfall pipes coming out yeah. into rivers and stuff, it, there was more worms there feeding on, obviously, the wastewater and mm. whatever else. But now the rivers and estuaries are all clean. Maybe that's what it is. I, I don't know. know. I, I, th- I think that's, that's easy said. Where mm-hmm. the pipes don't yeah. discharge. I think, I, think, I think up the east coast there's still plenty. I mean, you speak to Bray, can you speak? They're more of an Tuck orange yeah. color, aren't they? Wouldn't they? I mean, it's well. like, then again, there's a lot of ground up there. But their their worms are fantastic. From that, from and also, like and also, they put a lot of effort into these, mm. like digging. They mm. stake out areas, mm. and it's like they get the weed over the top of it, and it's. I think it's just like yeah, let it recover, mate. Yeah, let it recover. I mean, it's like out here we got some bit where we pump lug on certain mm. tides but you won't get on that for so long at least you know then that mm. it's going to recover mm. yeah. if we've got one bit where everybody goes every time mm. yeah oh, that's always a bit of a, a funny thing that are think, we now do you know back in the day of spades digging with spades a bit before my time i've tried it recently it was a nightmare but um you know you'd only get a few and everyone's got a pump mm. yeah we pump so many mm. I think, I think are we take are they just juvenile worms in it? Oh, no. I don't know, or, or is it it's just what's happening? Some people I think, I think with since I've been fishing, more like it getting smaller. So yeah, mm. I think Those since, I think since I've been small. fishing, it's like sort of I started off couldn't get a worm with a pump, and then obviously sort of met certain people, and it obviously sort of brought pumps, and it's like gone through a range of pumps, different washers, this that and the other. Now <clears> I can go out and pump worms, but I can be on some ground where there's stones, and if you don't get that entry right and mm. that pull, you'll miss him every time. Mm. And I don't know whether you do damage the worm when you're trying to suck him out, and it's like so on. And then you'll go somewhere else, and you'll find a better ground, and you'll get everyone. Mm. It's all like kinds it, of rumors, isn't there? You it's, know, it's it's different a, pump piece. worms don't work, and yeah. all this. It's, 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 it's a, a dark a spray and They work. But this is this is what like that chap saying there, is it? Yeah. Like the bait thing. It's, and we struggle for bait here now. Mm. You know, I, th- I think about yellow tails. We struggle. We be loads, but then different times of year, especially yeah. for, for come the spring. spring. Well, spring. Come the spring, another month we we'll get some really good. Yeah, but I don't know. Monthly. Does that affect ragworm? I don't know much about it. Do you, you know? Do you know much about ragworm? I, I mean, we we, than... we 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 notice with Maddie digging. I mean, it's like sort of all of a sudden, get a couple of months down the line, there'll be rakes of Maddies up the rivers. Yeah. Mm. And what then, do they do with them? Um, this... Do they get their own? They got diggers. Or yeah, they, they got they diggers. They, 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 they still, still dig. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they still let leap, let let leap be around the power station there with where I've been digging right. down there. But I would have think that if you're turning the beach over, or the ragworm won't like that because they like to be worming their way through all of the stone. Yeah, and yeah. I, th- I think I think the terrain on the beaches out here for lugworm pumping has changed. It's so stony. Mm, yeah. And a lot of the beaches have been washed away. Yeah. It's like it's it's a different ball game. It's this thing with the fish, isn't it? I mean, a few years ago, we, if you caught about three or four ling, you could win an open match. Yeah. There's so many fish here now. I don't yeah, there is. It. I, th- I think I think I'm only taking them, and yet they're still there. Mm. I think I it? think down where I live, I think the wind farms done an awful lot for fishing. It's like, and then obviously they they're trying to get the kelp beds back. Mm. And so on, and it's like so. I was watching a video last night about the breed mm-hmm. that were there last year that are breeding, mm-hmm. that are coming into the waters to breed now. Mm-hmm. And it's like sort of yeah, basically, it's like sort of uh, you you see things, and it's like there was on Pevensey sort of like uh, neighbourhood watch. Mm-hmm. There was I think there was a little porpoise wash up down there. Mm-hmm. But like Mick Webb says. When their factory boats turn up, mm. all sorts go on, yeah. and they just scoop everything up, and it's like, yeah, and a lot of stuff just gets thrown back, yeah, you know, and it, it's quite sad. But the amount of dogfish around <coughs> now, you never used to see a dogfish, no. like something. I mean, still we're going. Close <laughs> next to Joe there, so <laughs> <on> Saturday, <laughs> Joe saw ten yesterday. <laughs> I didn't have one. Yeah, had ten yesterday. <laughs> and ten yesterday, some people saw none. <laughs> Do you yeah, see any dogfish Saturday, Joe? Like I, said. I saw one next, like, 
Uh, the one next you had one. Yeah, one, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't a very big one either, was it? No. Anyway, yeah. enough to take my wife back. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> shame we didn't get one of them on Saturday. You might have got in the money. <laughs> anyway, we get right. Saturday. Okay, yeah. so Brian Pass says even and all. So, hi, Brian. Just so that you know, right. we're on here. We've got a match Sunday, no match match, right. 8 till 12, Langley okay. Point. Uh, no money for watch or crabs, and yeah. I've got to put it up. Will you, will you be there? Oh, yeah, I've got to go. To, I'm at Hastings. Yeah, you're in the league. I'll see what's happening. Yeah. Like you, you should be over there with your team supporting them. Giving them, a me out the giving, team. giving them a rub down with a sport me out. life before they, they me, run out. Kick me out. <laughs> and then ask me if I play for their audience. <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, Brian Pasqua said evening. So, uh, hello, Brian. Hi, Brian. If anybody Hi, Brian. wants to cast in less than time for man to speak to. Um, yeah. David B, I've, got, I've read your quick comment. I've just got one thing to say to you. No, I'm not answering it. I've just shot you. Right, um, oh, what, oh, I'll tell you what he said afterwards. Okay, <laughs> oh. uh, David Chexfield. Hi, guys. I've got to get Liam some brave for his England stuff. Joe can or Tony, not the judge, because I know he hates brave. Recommend one, please. What, brave? Yeah. Well, we, he's on fire line. For, for Liam, yeah. Well, oh, for Liam? Yeah, for Liam for his UK, for his England stuff. You might want to look at that flex, but it's, yeah. a, bit, it's a lot thinner, but yeah. jury's out on it. Some people say it's good. I think it's too thin. We'll sort something out with that, David. Yeah, we'll we'll, on, um, I think there's talks about it anyway. We're going to yeah. talk about T-Mo, T-Tone and Richard Yates and ask yeah. his advice and yeah. stuff like that. And T, see what we can Is that the place? Is that the tackle yeah. place? Yeah. That's a bloke looking for his own fault. He's on the wrong road. <laughs> right. Dragon Claudio says, what do you think about the Pen Ross sporting book? Anybody have any dealings with that? No, no, I'm not familiar, sorry. No, no. That doesn't mean anything to me. What's it called? The Pen Rock. Free Pete? RAF. W-R-A-T. I think it's a cheaper rod. Is I'm it? sure it is. Okay. Yes, it's called a RAF. W-R-A-T-H. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they're a cheaper rod. Right. I may be wrong. Okay. So, but other than that, we haven't really got any You'd be better buy that. something like, I'll get loads of second hand. Um, what's the next one up there? Well, the, 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 the Tidal. No, no, that one on the corner there. Get loads of second hand. Rampage line, man. Rampage line. Something like that. I don't know how much they are retail, but it's yeah. going to 80 second hand, about 75 quid. Right. A little bit better yeah. than the rack, I think. Get in front of the, ca the camera there, mate. Could be so. It's got 85, 8750 yeah. on it. Mm. It's ever so light. 13 foot. Right. Probably take about 80, 75 quid for it. And it's it's uh, as new, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I get a lot of them, so it's worth bringing yeah. stuff. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Stuff. It's like the yeah. moment. Dickinson's real oh, no. deal. I know. I know. Give the deal. Dickinson's real deal. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing he ain't got the suntan, is he? Get yeah. himself orange. Well, we will have in a month's time. Off his cruise. cruise. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you're gonna go to auction on that. Oh. Yeah. Well, off yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, David Bing, is it really worth fishing off the beach if you can only cast 50 to 60 yards? Well, I do. Definitely. Yeah. 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 We've had this before. Yeah. People get transfixed by this casting yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it does. Sometimes you do need it in your locker. Yeah. But no, pick your venues. Mm. Possibly look at like a, a pier or a jetty. If, if, if big you're gully. Like big gully. Have a, look at, have a look at low tide. Yeah. And bass fishing. I mean, miscast. We've all yeah, had it at every yeah. angler. Yeah. You have a fluff up. Oh, no. Put it there. And Gerald the other day fell over. Yeah. Yeah. Love him. Fell over. Got yeah. two big plays. Yeah. He probably went blimey. It's only a threw it back five out weeks ago. We'd all caught the fish at 40 yards. Well, so definitely don't put it on that. I've, I've never seen Joe Carr so short. Yeah, yeah, you are. That's what I mean. Yeah. So it's yeah. not all. Yeah, it was at 30 uh, metres, wasn't it? I don't mind minting in the margins from time yeah. to time. Oh. But it's got to be done. But, yeah, definitely. That's a big thing of mine. Yeah, you should just... The Love casting, but fish for fish, fish yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, go and yeah. do it. Don't. Fishing's in Jordan mm. as well. It's not all about mm. no. in all the time. Especially Mono, in the summer. It's, it's enjoyment, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? You know. especially, especially in the summer when you start going into the mullet and the garfish and the bass fishing. Everything. It's like the mullet, yeah, they 30 yards out. I, I've um, seen people, I mean, people cast over the top of bass all the time. Yeah. I've seen and lots of fish. I, mean, I think Jason Carter the other day, Aaron said he just had a... He's going he, the edge, yeah, cast very far. No, no, but, in, but on purpose, he went loads of fish, in like, the edge, at yeah. a 40-centimetre yeah, place. place a He's also yeah. catching loads of rays every night. He, he puts the hours in, yeah. but take that off to he catches Yeah, no, he's a good level. Yeah. 
yeah, pick your venue, I'd say, with that yeah, one. Don't yeah. go somewhere, you know. Show. And you definitely catch more at night and if you really yes, want to catch that's some a fish. Good point to yeah, that, like night. you say, that Jay yeah. Carter, he catches a lot of fish. Yeah, a lot of nice fish. lad. So there you go, David. Yes, it is worth coming out if you're going to cast 50 or 60 yards. But of course, the other thing is, is get some casting lessons and more practice the better you get out. And yeah. Somebody told me, you just need to look up a bit. And I did. And it made all the difference up to Saturday. Yeah. So, you know, you know, everyone's up open to a bit more, uh, another day at school. Um, Andrew Scott, what do you think of the Akios F15 Nitron? Can you come across that? Yeah, I've got, two, I, I I've got, got two. I've got four of them now. Yeah. Four or four, okay. yeah. I like them. And we were talking about the American mags. Brilliant. And it's just that I, I've had that's They've stopped making them a while ago. But I bought one from Tony. I thought, I'll give it a go mm -hmm. and, and see. I think the Mark II, the blue one's better. I wouldn't use it for my everyday fishing, for mm -hmm. me personally, mm -hmm. because I like to use a smaller uh, casting multiplier. But I've used them for rougher fishing. Mm -hmm. Um, I took to Holly at Breakwater mm. and, and the boulders are the size of cars. So if they survive that, they're going to mm. survive me all in a bit of weed and stuff like that. For the money, I think I think they're right. Yeah, mm. they are what they are. I mean, you yeah, do a good price on them. Yeah, they're not. Um, yeah, people say about the line going down the side. They do recommend <coughs> using thicker diameter. Mm. But my thing is, I use a thinner diameter on them. It will only go down the side of the spool if you overrun. Mm. So if you overrun, how's that the real spool? You, mm. you know, like yeah. that happens. If you fluff up, sometimes it's handy. Mm. That's one thing I will say, but they say by using... I would have thought most people buy that reel would be putting 18 on there. Exactly. Yeah, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.38 diameter. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.38, you won't, won't have a problem. problem. Exactly. So 0. 0.35. And, it's, and even then, even 0. 0.35 is fine. And like I say, it's not for me. Yeah. It's only because mm. um, of an overrun. Yeah, I think when he first done the reels, uh, Simon had a problem with them. So what he'd done, instead of redesigning them all, what he'd done is he bought got them to make a load of spools. Mm. So the first two batches were disastrous because when they made the spool after they'd messed something up, it, the line kept going down the side. Mm. So, so the reel's been tarnished, right, mm. a little bit. Now he's got it right almost. I mean, but, I think if you went with 0.3 mm. or 0.35, mm. it could go down the side. 3-2 tries to... But generally, it's, mm. it's all right now. And, and they got they hold so much line anyway. Mm. They're brilliant, and I, I'd say I can't, I can't, I can't. He's never them. got any because always shipping. You told me, yeah. Of steaks. I bought two. So I'm not there in America. Yeah. I mean, this Andrew Scott has said he uses one, but I put Abbott Nine Ceramics in. Right, yeah. And he carves lively. lovely, but finding the spool a bit small, which is what you're just saying, is that the spools, some of the spools were a little bit small for the. For the right. Uh, David Chexville, well done, Chelsea. Done Arsenal a favour. Yeah. We've got should have had on, shouldn't we? Right. <laughs> Film the draw and imagine the excitement. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, Liam says he has got the power tip, but just can't get on with it. Too light and not powerful enough. I've got a few rods he can try out. Yeah. Uh, and Harvey's got a few, so we'll get together. We'll have a we'll have a few yeah. days and we'll, we'll have a bit of casting. Yeah. Maybe we can take something out of Tony's for you yeah. to try as well. If you want to try anything? Yeah, yeah. Tony's pretty really good like that. Let you try around, it. Yeah, yeah. Trying to taste. Yeah, that air talk. I, I took one to Wales. Uh, just got in. I bought one out of here when I went to Wales. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it there? Yeah. yeah, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Right. I mean, there's a few comments about braid. I'm I'm going to skim through some of these things because they're comments rather than um, questions. Um, Question for Julian. In the beaches, you only have two blokes per beach. Would it not be more beneficial to have more blokes, say six? <laughs> yeah, it was Friday. That's from Edward Green. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. Edward Green. Edward Green. I wondered when Edward oh, Green Edward was going to appear. <laughs> I wondered oh. when Eddie was going to appear. <laughs> yeah. With his little car puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to his freshwater team. They've wiped the floor with everyone yesterday. So good luck to him. And I know yeah. some of them lads. 
That's an inner brain as well. It's got to be in it for that question. But anyway, um, I have a 12 foot Shakespeare ugly stick. I have had it since the late 80s, early 90s. So I'm getting a bit old now. And I've caught, and I've caught smooth hounds and dogfish on it. Have you ever used one of these rods in the past Is as it is a strong rod? It was a bit old, old school as well. I would have thought Probably a bit before shape. my time. No, I remember yeah. the ugly sticks. I remember the ugly sticks, but I never yeah. used one. Yeah. Never used one. It wouldn't break. Common. They were unbreakable. It was all, it was all common flex, wasn't it? In the yeah. No, they're unbreakable, they're ugly sticks. They don't break. Yeah. Really? No, they, they won't. You were showing something about yeah. you can bend it right around. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't break. They don't break. Stick. Yeah. Amazing. They still make the boat rods. Yeah. When, when, when I started, it was a Moncree. Yeah, Leslie Moncree. Leslie Moncree. Moncree. Leslie Moncree. Moncree. Yeah. King of Dungeness. I yeah, was an Atlantic 484 out of here the other day. Did you yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, Zoom. Zoom. Atlantic Zoom, yeah. Yeah. I'm give it a go. Yeah. Actually, some, somebody did say a while ago, actually, I've got a comment now. What about getting Joe to go down the beach with a 50 pound rod and reel set and fish it and see how he gets on? Yeah, do a I'm video probably, about it. Yeah. That, and have yeah. someone who's, who's normally fishes a 50 pound rod set fishing an expensive one next to him. But, sure. uh, yeah. 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 So we'll do that sometime. Tony yeah. Sprite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. I know how Tony say? uses braid. What mono do Joe and Julian use? And how low in diameter will they go on their multiplier for clean, clean round fishing? I think we kind of answered earlier on, didn't we? You were going down at point two five. I've I've gone to point two five. Yeah. I mean, we were just discussing. We've bit of a sore subject, but we, we we were talking about line. We 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 I've had to pick some line up for a guy tonight. Uh, but it's like yeah, I mean, I use Asso. Asso three three oh. You you it's and it's like so unbelievable. It's twelve pound. Yeah. And Joe Mick Webb said about it, and I yeah I've Can't used it. it. Mm. Unbelievable line. Have any of you two ever tried them talking the line? Um, oblivion in the um, it's like amnesia but I've used the guy it, yeah. come in Saturday and told the show he's really technical but he's telling me how much better this oblivion is I'm going to get some this week for hook lengths for yeah. hook lengths yeah I mean, I mean he said it, it's got even better no, well but, the, th- the thing is right sort of they they reckon it was good to use with packing didn't they the oblivion the, yeah and the 20 have the you used it then? yeah I've got a lot at home so I'm going yeah. to stop 20, that because that amnesia is getting so expensive 20, and it's and, uh, God rest of it from the question there, yeah, but yeah. amnesia is not true either. But they um that oblivion, yeah, 20, 20, the diameter of 20. Sorry, the diameter of 25 is a diameter of 20 pounds. Yeah. Uh, amnesia, I believe. It looked, but going back to that one, it's very exciting. I have sorry, that's oh, just, on, just, just, just jump on that about 0.25. I think you was there that day. We yeah. finished a, an ebb tide match and I just have to squeeze every single yard I could yeah, yeah. out mm. to get. As the fish were going down, mm-hmm. it's hairy going to thinner line. Have you ever used thin? I use 0.25. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. And I know Saul, I think he's gone down to mega oh, thin line. Really? I think Nathan has as obscene. well. Yeah. I think but Nathan, yeah. it's getting it back. Mm-hmm. It's okay casting it out. And I think Saul always said to me about the pulling back. Yeah, you know, you've got to have that confidence and the going mm-hmm. back again to the thinner lines. But yeah, 0.25 is where I've put on my multipliers. And yeah. it does go, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you've yeah, it's right on the edge. And I take it you wouldn't use a breakaway net if you were using it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Two five. As you said, yeah. about Ian Bauer would use point two five on, on a fixed pole. But you set your breakaway so they're pretty easy. To yeah, manage, still, I still, I was still using runs or not. No, I did. No. I did. Um, I did bust off a bit last cast because I actually went to right down the. It was running down the beach, and I put a wishbone on last cast and, yeah. and just yeah. opened the reel up a bit too far, yeah, yeah. just to, just to try and get one more, yeah. one more while the yeah. tide was. I know, but it was, um, mm. yeah. They were there, waving their flags of dogs in the gutter. No, this is a while ago. <laughs> oh, we went last week. I think I had 17 days. <laughs> <place, yeah. laughs> oh, right. Saturday. <laughs> Why did you bring up Saturday for a line? Yeah, I, 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 you did worse I, than me. I know I did. I, 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 I think I'm last. I think if you're going to go for <laughs> a line, though, I think like a lot of the match guys, I mean, Darren's different. I mean, yeah. I mean, Darren. He's great caster, great caster. Thick he, line. He, uses, he uses Rovex, yeah, and great caster. Yeah, you right. watch Darren, and he, he's he's got that confidence. He pull anything out of sea, Darren yeah. will, and he, he he used a big reel. He used these yeah. five two fives, yeah, and he used Rovex, and I think that's about sort of nineteen pound he uses. It is, but yeah. Dave Mewburn was an awesome caster when he when he yeah. cast in the fish. 
few years ago, and he told me once before, he said, why'd you mess around? He said, 0.35. Mm. It's as good as, would cast yeah. as good as anything. Mm. And I've just gone to that 3.0 because it just suits what I do. Mm. Dave will use the big mm. reel and 3.5, and he used monster cast off his lips. Mm. Mm. And I don't think Brett uses such thin line either. Mm. Yeah, so it's a little thing. Brett, to... Brett uses uh, F1. F1. Green F1 and black. Mm. Yeah. Black F1. But again, it comes down to what you yeah. feel confident in what you're yeah. doing. I mean, it's, I tried to do what Darren did one day. I thought, well, you know, I'll do what Darren does and use that Rovex, and I just had nothing trouble. That's me. It's just me. But mm. you know. I mean, it's like it's sort of you speak to people. I mean, it's like you speak to people about pen reels, like Brett Potter was saying about pen reels. He, he finds a heavier line on them's better. Definitely, like we were saying about the nitro, it, it, heavier line, get it down mm, the spool quicker. It does. It doesn't flip about so yeah, much. Mm, you definitely. And so what a spool, like you mm, were saying. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So they they like a That's heavier nice. line on them reels. Mm. And I, I think it, it, it's the same same as Webby. Webby's got a thing about his rigs, and he matches the hook to the line. And That's he's brilliant. He's yeah. he's like sort of if he's if he's if he uses sort of a, a size two, and he, he won't go above sort of twenty pound. It's in his mm. head, mm. you know. And he, he does a lot of that. He's very simple angler, Webby, mm. but he, he fishes free clip down a lot of the time, mm. and he varies his hook lengths, and he, he does very well. Yeah, well, he did one. Yeah, he. Fish brilliant yeah. Saturday. Yeah. He right. does draw well, though, Mick. I will say that. Well, I think the Lord draws well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some people do draw. He moaned at me, yeah. at Paul Parsons, if you're there, because he had got 11. Well, sometimes you have to get a bad one. He draws well. I had a bad one. Normally. Six. Yeah. He said, right. don't put that in again. And I said, well, that's what it is. Right, David Brindle could uh, could ask Tony and the lads what rod would they recommend for fishing in Scotland for common skate? T9000, whether it's a heavier one. T9000. I don't know. I don't know. T10000. No, T1000. Uh, t- oh, uh, is it? I think it's a, I think it's a T1000. Yeah. They do a 7000. No, they do a 700 and 800. Sorry, 700 and 800. T1000. The top one is the one for the big fish, I believe. I'm not. This way, we wouldn't sell one, but oh, yeah, you'd want something well, you want sale, of, yeah, yeah. or a Z Tech Evo yeah. or something like that. I don't know, something to really, oh, yeah. and I assume you don't have to cast a great distance when you're fishing. Maybe that Creed, I've never seen one of them Creeds. Maybe that Creed, would be it's, um, job. yeah, yeah Griffiths on, on the Welsh coast, he's a Creed quite yeah, like. he's an eight they, ounce bait and a whole mess. The big, yeah, some, one, some yeah. of them new Zoot problems that are coming out, yeah. Like, I've yeah. got the one, the um, I got the uh, X435. Yeah, cast twelve ounces on the field with. I know. Yeah, yeah, and it's I just heard about that. again. So there's quite a few out there that yeah, would probably yeah. cast. Yeah. He probably wants an eight ounce weight. Yeah, then them zoot crons up that north north coast and what yeah. have you. They 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 do make some heavy rods mm. up there for yeah. pulling pot out of kelp. And, yeah, and a good price range if you was going to go there and, and think so. He just wants for that as opposed to mm. bot shelling out five six hundred. Yeah, yeah, they are cheap. Like all this they're, creed are quite a good mm. price. Mm. Um, are we getting any? Are we getting many haddock down here? We're getting loads up in the north. They're not normally caught from the shore until late. So they, things are changing up in the north. They're getting haddock off the shore. We've mm, had a couple. Two, it's been a couple. Yeah. Of, they, one, yeah, was, two, one was one was undescribed. Gerald's supposed to have one, didn't he? No, he did the whiting. I know. He did the whiting. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, perfect. Mike Perfect. Mike Perfect definitely had one. He did. Yeah. But they're getting them at Grimsby. George has been getting a load of yeah, them. Yeah, it's the thumbprint on them, isn't it? That's yeah. right. I don't know what you call that, Chris. The thumbprint. Yeah, thumbprint. Yeah. The, 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 on the on the haddock. Yeah. 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 Um, right. Are you getting a uh, hi, Tony? Have you got any Akios Airlife three five five in stock? Last week, no. He ran out. But I think he might have them now. Okay. I'd have to give him a ring tomorrow. But he's flying some rods in anyway because everyone's been held up this Chinese New Year, so everyone's all in a mess and rods are on that being shipped and God yeah. knows what. But I think um, if I gave him a ring, if you rung me up tomorrow, I'd give him a ring and find out. I think they'll probably come over with the next batch of Furies because he ran out of Furies on Friday. Mm. So I think there's another batch of them coming. He's going to fly them in. Cost some more money, but they have to do to try and keep up with it all, you know. Yeah. So. Right, Rabbit Leader, idea. How about an FA Cup type of event? £10 entry, get 32 or 64 anglers signed up, 
do the draw for each round in the shop. Wouldn't have to be a separate event as each could be part of the usual match. They used to do like, uh, remember what we used to fish? Yeah, totally different. Yeah. Build yeah. the draw. To, imagine the excitement. We, yeah. used to, we, used to, we used to fish the leagues and they used to sort of each team. I think they still do it out the East Coast, don't they? If you're on a team, treat Brett Green or him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or we yeah. turn up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd say, <laughs> yeah. No. It'd be, it'd be like Man giant City. Killer. Man City versus all yeah. the shots. Well, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a giant killer. You never know. Yeah. 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 Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. Dog man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think anything that makes fishing more interesting. Yeah, yeah definitely. And yeah. I, 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 you know, it, it's like talking to people, and it's like sort of uh, obviously with with the fishing, anything that makes it a little bit more interesting. You could it makes do it, couldn't you? If you had a match and you just paired people. Yeah, yeah, good shout. Yeah. pair them, and then yeah, you, got, you souls get you that day, and I'm out. And yeah. Maybe yeah, 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 yeah. The rounds. It's just. Sometimes it's there's a lot of us all like yeah. we, we knocked on the, the random pairs on the egg because you stand there for another half hour trying to find out who's pairs mm. with who and mm. you could do that you could do that in line with it and then you could then just work it out after and then post yeah, it up yeah. and say, Oh right, and up, so first round, you know, yeah. you've mm. gone and such and such. That's yeah. not I mean, it's, 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 out if you'd have been paired with Grant. I don't know what you could do, you do it the bloke next next year. Every time. Like for, I beg six. What am I gonna do from there? No, you had a rum draw. What are you on about? Instead of drawing it away. Look, say I draw five and you draw six, and I'm against you. You could do it like that. Yeah, yeah. it's a person on your beat. Yeah, it's causing a row. Yeah. So, 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 so hopefully no one turns up next to me. Who's going to supply that <laughs> break up? Yeah. I don't know. There's no pegs on the groin, so like that. Where am I? Oh, no, over there, mate. <laughs> Who's supplying the F-Cup? Invisible man. Every six space on the draw. He's been actually drawn against a real top charlie. He gets a trap peg and you knock him out. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. That's true. It's the same as like the the club that we fish for and it's like they brought it into the uh, over 50s. Species points. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, so it makes it a bit more interesting. You don't... I don't really... I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. Species points. When we fish at Shoreham, and the gars are there, the bream are there, the mullet are there. You've got to think. Yeah, you've yeah, You've yeah, got yeah. to think about what you're doing. Get, well, you're only get your five gars when they're there. Yeah. Then you go back on the bottom. Oh, Try he's got a mullet. A then you're out for a mullet. Then a mackerel. If you're going there with three hooks, slinging out. You don't know what's going to jump on there. Look at yesterday. I've got a few dogs. Have you had any flatties? Yeah. I was surprised there was no yeah. flatties there. Yesterday. And then the other day, got a little flatties. Then you, you caught no flatties, though. You said no. Just dogs. Just dogs. Rabbit leader, I Clean think it's, if, uh, there's something for discussion. Clean we'll probably talk about it some more. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. We like it. Yeah, we like that. We like it. What's the best way to present a ragworm on a book? That's from Millport away. Depends. I mean, I mean, you, I, mean I got, why do you want to go first? I mean, it's, it's, it's like sort of, I, I normally put the towel on first and cut the head. So all the juice is dripping out of the head. So I'll be the other way around. I, depending on what you were doing. Yeah. So would you, if you, not with it, we don't use it here very much, but when you go your way, yeah. generally for them flatties, you want a bit of black lug and a ragworm, but then I would go in the head and yeah. come out a little way down and then and then another one up behind it. So the two, the tails are hanging down. I always pinch the tails off. Yeah. Carky see. showed us that, not cut them off. Yeah, see, see, it's like sort of with with, smooth hours is different. You with 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 the maddies, you put a couple of couple up the line, and then it's like sort of yeah. Then we pinch pinch them off. Yeah, yeah, pinch them off. So different way. Some people, especially with a ragworm, because of the because of the teeth and stuff like that. Mm. And Harvey, when he uses them, he just picks up, cuts head off. I Mm. cut the head off. Do you? Yeah, I cut the head off. Some people say if you cut, if you don't cut there, if you go down, I go down. Theories again, I go down the side of the head from a ragworm, so it's I haven't killed it straight away. You chop its head off, yeah, boom, but it's gone. Oh, it's gone. But yeah, I, know I just saying. think there's that bit of movement. I know, I know, I know, I know the same. Maybe. I mean, it's like it's it's the same, it's the same with fresh outs, isn't it? It's like some people like oh, some people go the other way around, they go head first, have a towel. No, I always yeah. put the towel. So would I. I always have the head on the bloody end of yeah, the head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen it the other way around. Have you seen it the other way around? Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen Some it. Some people say it cast better. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but you, 
It's just full of sand, that's how I know. Eat a sa- but then does a fish come along? You yeah, always like think he, it, it anyway, gets it from it? that end, yeah. but it probably comes and gets it from it. You don't, they don't always go like that, do they? Get, yeah. Well, from the side. Side or whatever, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, but right. it's the same thing, isn't it? Look at all them bats. Imagine how many hard bats. Like, they've all got hard bats in them. Mm. Yeah. And yet you fish with hard bats. You will catch. I've, I've seen it done. But we just use soft yeah, crab. Yeah. I think it's great, but they're eating live crab yeah, all the time. Yeah, the same. All the time, they're full of hard back. You have a cold bass over, it's yeah, yeah. got hard well, back. Well, cod are the same. Well, cod, yeah, cod, yeah, cod, cod, they're, cod, cod they're, they're just cod chasing weight. them, aren't they? Yeah. Bang. They're not thinking, yeah, oh, yeah, is it? I mean, stones. Be, you used to find cod bass stones. Yeah, I must sort of digest it before that was nice. That was a soft one, you know, or whatever. That was nice. That was really nice. That was nice. I didn't have to chew that one. And the other one's inside, <laughs> cut him about inside. <laughs> <laughs> right, Tracy, Tracy Stoker. Bits uh, of movement. Tracy and Kev from Stoke on Trent. Can we use leads with no arms when we fish where stone is? Depends on, on the tide. The tide. 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 The reason we obviously use sort of like uh, leads with sort of spikes coming out of them is obviously if there's a tide, it slows the bait down. And obviously, you don't mm. end up five beaches down. Mm. So it's like, yeah, it all depends on conditions. And that's where the watercraft comes in. It's like uh, fish next to Joe once. Mm. And it's like sort of, I've just started fishing, put a roller on. <laughs> and he came over and he saw it. And then he put a roller on and <laughs> beat me. I'd <laughs> 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 say, look. I thought, how was that? <laughs> How's he done that? <laughs> two, two, one, three. How you doing, mate? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I only just started fishing then. He took, he took me under his wing, and it's like we, we, we laugh about these things. But, yeah, it, it, see, this, this is where these guys are good. It's like they, yeah. they, they, they walk the craft, where they cast. It's like I was, I was Aces before Christmas, and we were at a dreaded bathing pole. And Saul Page was down there, and he doubled everyone else's fish. And Colin Crosby got off to a flyer, walked off that beach, and said, how did he do that? How did he catch all them wine? Yeah. But he, he, he's so tuned in. Mm. And they, they, they cut the luck down. Mm. They cut the luck down, and the bait's good. And it, it's like a lot of these people. They live and breathe it. I mean, it's like you look at George Smith, Docker. The amount of effort they put in, it's mm. yeah, it's it's phenomenal. It's just dedication. Isn't yeah, it? it's dedication. Right. Okay. Um, someone's asked for Brian's number for cast lesson. I can't put it up here at the moment, um, but put, put Brian Pascoe up on Facebook. He, he was on here just now. Uh, he just he just pulled himself off. I think. Literally. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> He's pulled himself <laughs> off the chat. We mean that much, Chris. What happened? Coat. <laughs> I didn't uh, tell the missus where I was going. <laughs> Involved with four men in the shop. <laughs> so, Jeffrey Middleton, when is the draw, the rod getting drawn? Well, it it was not a draw. It was on the on the bonus ball from the national lottery on Saturday night. So it's um the bonus ball was forty three. So um, if you had forty yeah. three, you won it. So it's, it's been done. We're trying to touch and get in contact with the winner at the moment. In fact, do you want to try calling him again? Yeah. Yeah, well, you took that. We're going to ring the uh, the winner for, of it now, live on, on the chat, see if he answers. But he, he, he didn't answer earlier on. Uh, did didn't answer earlier on. Hello, um, Chris Kerridge. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, um, when, when's the Dreamcast 4 out? We've got, I told you to say earlier on he thinks it won't be till April now. Um, yeah, April, mate. Peter Ayres says he's not brave enough for 0. 0.30, lol. Pete, yeah. got to get on the 0. 0.30, mate. Yeah, 0. 0.30, yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Pete's right. been around for years and he's... Jack Hargreaves yeah. was on tonight, so they've yeah, they, they started the Jack Hargreaves thing back on things, so he's great Hello, to Robert. watch. Um, you know he won, the Rod. There we go. Oh, yeah. I, we yeah. was going to, well, yeah. I've got you yeah, live on, on here now. Here we go. Right. So, what you'd have to do, well, um, 
Yeah, it was 43. You you were number 43 and that's what it was. Did you not know? I watch it now, yeah? <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know now. <laughs> right, so the, the, the prize... Yeah, I know. Was, <laughs> do you right if we say his name on air too? He's all right saying his name yeah. on air. Some, someone said... <laughs> Someone come in the shop and say, said, if you ain't rung up, don't give it to him. <laughs> They'll laugh, and I said, well, I couldn't do that. Anyway, listen, I've gone off, I've gone away. Yeah. Well, you can still hear you, though, know, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy it back. I'll, I'll drown him out with it. <laughs> Joe and Julia, what's your go-to mono? I think we've covered these right. questions earlier. We've got, um... We're sorted out. Yeah, we're sorted out. Yeah, we're sorted out. Yeah, we're sorted out. Andy Smithson, hi, question for Tony. Why on your last did you not use a bucket for pretending to use one? What are your rules on map fishing? You're a lot myself. You're big on that. Yeah. Yeah. I think... big thing. is, and I know Chris always says about Fish care, and I, it's yeah. put it in the bucket. See, the I thing I learned, I've seen Colin do it, Colin Carey do it as well. Sometimes they'll have three buckets, and I saw the England juniors doing it yeah. more so for yeah. smaller fish. Yeah. Well, you know, when I learned, I put the whole lot into the bucket, yeah. so I do it's now. fine, but the it'll set three up, and it, and just with little bass and stuff, yeah. it'll plop each one in each bucket. Each one, but it's a big thing, put it, you know, always walk down, pull the fish in. I think I think I, I, I think the thing is, some it, someone said about obviously Same sort of like the, what we do. People walk along the beach. Yeah. They see what we do. The last thing you want to be doing is walking over with a place or a bass, and it's yeah. got blood coming out yeah. of it. And there's yeah. the antis, and there's people out there. Yeah. And I, I, th I think some woman, which was a good point. I mean, I always put a fish in a bucket, and she sort of made some comments, and it's like it, it brought it home to me because Joe said to me, you know, we we should all look at what this lady's saying. Yeah. You know, and she was saying about like, obviously fish care. I like yeah. watching your programs. Yeah. But when you see someone walk across, it's just fish on a ruler. Yeah. Infuriating. And it's like the trouble is, um, it's like bring a bucket along, yeah. put the fish in the water. Yeah. It's like now, Joe said to me, you know, when you catch a fish, straight in the bucket, like that. unhook it. With the fat fish, we try and put the disgorger through, pull the line, turn the hook, out it pops. He's got a little bit of a chance to go back. Half a chance. Yeah, you know, exactly. And, you know, it's, it's, the only other thing. We've got to be done. The fishing, yeah. the fishing yeah. I fished the, the fountain the other day at Princess Parade yeah. and people walking along there and I treble shot a fish. I had a nice right. fall right. back there. Yeah. A dog fish and a dab. Right. Well, we'll okay, it's so quite hard to get that in the bucket. Right. Right. There's people I'll watching me there. I'll tomorrow the tree. Tree. Mm. put the fish down. And I'll just put the fish on the fish sign and throw them back. It's nice that those people can see everybody was doing the right thing. Right. So Mr. Robert Marshall. And fish fish going back from London. It's a Robert Marshall from London. He's your winner. Yeah, well done, mate. He will be getting, as he's watching us, yeah. getting for GT. I think, like you say, we're, we're, with all this, we're all, all responsible. Mm. And it's Again. like, sort of, if you fish mm. certain matches and you mm. don't go to the guy next to you mm. and the fish is in a bucket, I've seen certain people who are top match anglers and they will just refuse to sign mm. your fish. Mm. They give you one chance to mm. put it in a bucket. Mm. And then after that, disqualification so yeah. no one wants to see that and i just think we need to up our game a little bit and yeah. we we don't yeah. want the anti seeing yeah, yeah. definitely the, on the promenade yeah. you know exactly People seeing it you know. exactly yeah. so uh, yeah well, good I mean, point we fish because we actually quite like fish don't we you know we mm. we are oh, we we, we're not there, so we love, sure. yeah we enjoy it we you enjoy know it. we're making progress in the sea angling world you know it wasn't that long ago that all matches were catch and kill that's right. Yeah, I'm weighing at the end. So yeah. we have, yeah, we are catching release, and there still are catching film matches. Personally, I won't I won't film them. I won't film them. No, it's it's, um, it's it's like when I first started fishing again yeah. six years ago, Hastings was all catch and kill. Yeah. And then obviously they were saying, look, you know, we can't bring these dogfish yeah. back because yeah. like 
The whiting, not so much. Yeah, I can understand. I mean, there's a lot of whiting out there. And with Hastings, none of the fish got put back on the yeah. beach. They all went off to the fish market, mm. to old people's homes, yeah. and this, that, and the other. Like The Crosby boys run it pretty strict. Yeah. There was nothing thrown on the beach. Yeah. And it's like, sort of, basically, it, it was, yeah, all above board. Yeah. I, was but, Steve, I was talking to Steve about it at the weekend, and he said he fishes somewhere, which is a catch and kill. But the person who runs it has got a fish market. And all the fish caught, all the fish caught, go to mm. the fish market. Yeah. Well, either they go as pot bait or as they go to the yeah. same thing, rather yeah, than yeah, just yeah. lobbing them onto the beach. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what you don't want, especially yeah. if a lot of fish are thrown on the beach. Yeah. Because people see that and, yeah. All right. So Andy Smithson, in, in response to your question, all you can do, mate, is, as, as we all do, keep on banging on about it because eventually people will listen. Yeah. And there's definitely. one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hopefully I'm you will listen. Oh, I'm listening. Yeah. So we do need, we, oh, no. yeah, we have got that. Maybe right, we, we could have power no, points. Right, guys, you're right. The old Chris with the old camera. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> points deducted. Points deducted. Points deducted. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God almighty. I'm not going to be involved right. in that. You're on one of What's that? Got yeah. Me going around filming people <laughs> and arranging them to have their points deducted. <laughs> That would be the end of the channel. Um, right. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Brian Paskey's back. Brian, someone was asking oh, for your phone down. number just now, mate. Um, right. Hi, Joe. When are you going to fish the MOD Bristol Channel catch up soon, mate? That's from Richard Reynolds. Rich, yeah, definitely, Rich. Definitely. I'll be in touch. I'd love to do that. They got a great channel. Reynolds Fishing UK. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Rich. He's boy fish of Arby and uh, Holland and stuff like that. And yeah, they, they live on the Bristol Channel. I think Chris was on about going down as well. Yeah, I want to go. Yeah, he's supposed it's to be going awesome. around, the, Bristol Channel. around the British Isles or yeah. something, but don't seem to be happening at the moment. Well, I mean, I can't because I'm working <laughs> no, every day. No, same here at the but moment. But I've been talking to Pom, Pom Pete. Oh, like Pete. Simmons. Pete. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. And, and I've said, why don't why don't we come over and fish one of his matches? And why doesn't he come over and fish one of ours? I actually messaged um, him yesterday. That was and he so sent me a message about. back, so maybe we can. Yeah, that was spoken about. Yeah, yeah. that was spoken yeah. about. We we chatted about it and we yeah. talked to yeah. a few about yeah. it. We get a few of us. No, would you? Well, Norfolk. I've never yeah. been out of baseball. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. it, it, it was it was yeah. I mean, it was spoken about. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it was spoken <laughs> about. That yeah, yeah. Been, yeah, a bit of a giggle. They got and, a match. You know, he, he's got single. he's doing yeah. perfect yeah. angling over that way with his channel as much as we are over here. Yeah, yeah. no, it's brilliant. To, to, it's to brilliant. Do a bit of, uh, he collaboration. Does a lot of filming and mm. a lot of fishing as well. And he's yeah, yeah. He's, he was a court cool angler, I think. Was he? Yeah. That's why he's called Pom. I wonder why he got yeah, a pom yeah. Down, yeah. Big old pom. Oh, the, um, yeah, it does. The, very, very good, like yourself. Yeah. And also, people are interested. Yeah. yeah, people who don't even go fishing. Yeah, like yeah. like watching it. Yeah, and, and he's saying that Robert, he's missed the call, but he's been watching this anyway. That's oh, how he's just found that he's won. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, so cool. he missed the call earlier on. Yeah. He said, I missed your call. He said, But I've been watching. He yeah. said, No, I think that's good. He said, I've won. That's yeah. good. That's good, isn't it? SA Pro Pump Pumps has retracted a message. So obviously, some of your sponsors has oh, been there, but he keeps oh, retracting his message. Oh, dear, and the dear. Chambers oh, Plumbing oh. Services they have as well. Oh, oh what's that? Yeah. Chambers, Chambers Plumbing Services have message retracted. Oh. Yeah, oh, fill changes. Fill changes. Using buckets should be mandatory. If you don't have a bucket, you can't fish the pump. You should all be trying to do wet. Yeah, yeah. So we we fully agree with all this, mate. We really do. Um, I think it's getting through now. I yeah, think yeah, a lot I think of people. So, yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people are beginning to realise. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But, I mean, I've, again, I've seen some semi-top Charlies just dropping their fish on the beach. You think really? But. Uh, Right, Daniel Smith. Hi guys, what's your go-to hook pattern and size? We can throw it all there. Anyone go you live? Um, Whatever he puts on your rigs. Yeah, I can't make my own rigs, do I? But um, these hooks are fantastic. But the thing is, I'm now going to be upset because I bought, I own this company, yeah. Sea Match, and I bought out the other side of it, yeah. which was about fifty thousand hooks. Yeah. I'll tell you what, last Saturday, when I did well in the match, God knows how, I went out jeans, I put two big holes in my jeans. They're so sharp, yeah. you can only use them once or twice. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, they're the sharpest 
I've always pointed out that camera stands are so blunt compared with these. Oh, use them, not use them. Yeah. I've used them. Oh, yeah, certain times, but they're not these. They're not these. Very easy. If you only use them once, you can get away with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are very easy. But you only use them because they're that, so sharp, you knock the tip off. Look at that, it's offset as well. Yeah, it's all yeah. done. Yeah. Um, they're clever. Unfortunately, Joe's got all the ones, he's so over one for no, no, I've got, got the last 1,000 off me. And he sells them. They're, no, they're, I don't, no, no, don't know. These twos, I'm going to run out. I'll, that's all I've got, and I'm I'm figuring out yeah. where I'm going to get some. I mean, it, it's... You know, I might have to go to China and order a load, I don't know. I mean, it's yeah. like, they're, they're, they look good hooks, but mm. I use phantoms. Phantoms, right. And it's yeah, like, good, you? I mean, it's like, basically, that's down to Craig by when yeah. I fish next three months. Right. And, yeah, I mean, it's like, people say the saltwater champions are the same as the phantoms. I I don't know. I think they're slightly I, I don't know. For me, saltwater champions might go to hook. Yeah. Size two saltwater champions. Mm. For our fishing, yeah, I've been using them. The, the twos, the ones, yeah. the threes, they're very similar to a phantom. I don't know, so as Brenton just said, you know, people are just being thrown around. We had a look, I think there's something different, I don't know, mm. but, slight difference. But those hooks there, that they, yeah. they they were, I think they're from quite a few years ago, aren't they? Those when you had the lum, well, old Matsuo, yeah, Matsui or something. Matsui. Your, so, your t shirt is saying Sakuma Phantoms, they say Pro Pumps. <laughs> yeah, basically, they're, they're so sharp, though. But as I say, they're the tips. No, they're good. You, you, yeah, it's they're one good time looks. or twice. Ones that they're that good looks, yeah. Nice with a big orange sandy on them. Well, then why yeah. ones? Yeah. yeah. And the boy bought all the freeze. So he's got all the freeze. <laughs> yeah. Them Irish shields will be ones. banned soon. <laughs> they might, they're, they're all be banned, them Irish shields, the way it's going. It's like bait So bands. they should be. It's like so bait, they bait, be. bait bands are coming in left, right, and centre. No eels in our match. <laughs> no whites, muddies, or eels. <laughs> yeah, ah, ah, but that'll be sadly that upset. That, that, that's coming. Look, 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 no, no, right, 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 right. eel man. <laughs> right, uh, eel farmer said he, he uses saltwater <laughs> champions, but if you look at the bar, there's literally no bar. Who was that? Sorry, um, that's David Chexfield. Um, right, we've got we've got a few a few comments coming on about the buckets and walking around with place on lines and stuff like that. Guys, you know, we, 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 I think we all agree with what you're saying, um, and, you know, we are progressing. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Right, um, we are also three minutes from the end of this. So, um, <laughs> no whites, maddies, eels, or braid. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> That's from Damien Evans. <laughs> 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 And no one who can cast over 150 <laughs> yards. Yeah. All banned. Did, did you remember your flask? I've got a whiskey flask. In and also, pocket. you haven't mentioned that us 69-year-olds or 68-year-olds should have an handicap. We get 10 points. Well, oh, yeah, us over 60s. Strokes. You only well, just yeah. over 60. You should handicap it on our old show. Yeah, 63 next As year. As it goes up, 70, 60, 50, 10 points a go. Yeah. If you're 40, you're in trouble. That's you're it. going to be 30 I'm points over 40. Behind. You're 30 points behind before you start. <laughs> well, are we hitting the big seven over for any of you? So I, I looks good on it, doesn't it? Yeah. It does, yeah. Had an easy paper round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Uh, Keith Cord. Hi, guys. I do believe catch and release is the way forward for the sport. We've got fishing stocks. I've seen dead fish left in plastic bags at ballsy matches. It's very disappointing to see fish. Yeah, yeah fully agree. I think yeah, right. I think... I think we 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 fully agree with this. I, I just don't want it to this to end up in a complete discussion about that. Um, we will keep on working on his lordship and uh, yeah. Right. Okay. So we've got one and a half minutes to go. So come on, guys. If you've got anything else more, I also know we've got 186 people watching. There's only 63 thumbs up. So if you, if you enjoy what we're doing, and there's a lot of good comments come out here. Um, Give us a thumbs up. Right. Uh, if you say pro pumps, spare hooks only. I.e. Oh, don't put any bait on them. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, he's got SA pro pumps. But he's not, is is, is that Steve Harper behind there? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah. That's what laughs> Damien <laughs> Evans, no hooks. Yeah, yeah, that'd be interesting. Um, it's just a, that's just a cast. They cast it, isn't it? It's, it's, it's I'm a, 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 a fish with no hooks on that. Yeah. <laughs> 
And me. Oh, me, I had a new X on on Saturday. <laughs> no, well, me and me neither. Use yeah. no hooks. Yeah. Oh, I'm just right. Okay, okay. Well, um, all right. Well done, chaps. Get the baker on with you. Get the baker on with you. That's from Stu the Brew. So, yeah. which baker are we talking about? Uh, Andy Baker. To be making leads. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, SA Crumbs. Yes, it's Steve. Oh, I thought it would be. Yeah. Lovely man. <laughs> Lovely man. <laughs> All right, okie dokie, we're counting down 20 seconds. And oop, he's going to answer the question of why he had no bucket at the match. Um, oh, no, he's no. not. Um, right, thanks very much. Right, hang on a minute. Go on. Oh, no, I'm not Go on. getting confident. No, what it is, is uh, uh, just to give you an idea, that we try and put these <laughs> fish back and try and yeah. make them live. We do our best. We don't throw all over the yeah. place. I was putting them down a little chute, you know, yeah. so they just went in lovely rather than throw them. Yeah. But if you if you take in this stock, you know, these factory ships are out yeah, here yeah, now. Yeah. And if you could see what they're doing, yeah. and yet you people are going on about us with a few fish, it's just yeah. they, they bring the fish up and then most of the time they're they're trapped and they're all gonna die and they just mm. let them go all the undersized and they don't mm. live. Mm. It's a it's a sad thing. Mm. But you are right, we've got to try it and I've yeah. got to and, show and up the, the trouble is that. it's 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 the can well, of worms I've opened by filming it, to be honest. It's just, yeah, I think, I think so. I think so. Other places, and you know. I think the other thing is, if you go to bigger matches, you need to have it in your head mm. yeah. that you, you're going to fish against mm. these people. Mm. Like, the, if you're going to fish Hastings, stuff like that, it's like they're bigger anglers there. It's mm. like sort of, and mm. they, they will play Test by better, the rules. Yeah. And Joe knows that from his England mm. experiences. Yeah. yeah. You know? All we, you know, as I say, got to try. Do you have to fill your bucket up yeah. before you start fishing in England? You do, yeah. yeah. And see, so superstition's gone now. Gone. Why not? Yeah, yeah. I, it I used should, to be. I would never fill it up. No. And I went there, and I had to fill it up. Yeah. I fill it up. Yeah, and I've done <laughs> all right. So it's it's done just, very well. No, we just, it just, yeah. it just, um, yeah. and if everybody's doing it, then everyone's in the same boat, aren't they? Yeah. Right. So, um, someone Philip leaves the final thing. He's oh. saying, ban Tony. No. <laughs> 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 He's already upset. He's got yeah. a lot of good. Yeah. Very good that you didn't win the real rod. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might not have got it. Thanks, Yeah. <laughs>